Hey guys, it's Dynamic Slash here. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today's video is to up your game on Gun Game. So, I have a few basic steps for you. It's probably about 15 in total. And the first five or so are going to be very basic, but very important for you to learn and implement them into your gameplay. Okay, the basics are the basics. Number one, use your radar for two reasons. The second one, you might not have thought of. Do implement them into your gameplay. It's, you know, it can be very strategic, and I give you the reasons why. Uh, the first one basically is if the enemy's firing and it's not a suppressed weapon, he'll show up on the radar, which means if he's close enough, you can go and engage him. Obviously, if he's farther away, the radar um, blings will be obviously at the edge of the map, so that, um, showing you he's a good distance away. Uh, you may not want to engage them. Uh, the second way of using your radar is if you've been wandering around the map for ages or you've been in an area where there's been no traffic, you haven't seen anybody or you've got like literally no kills, shoot your weapon. The enemy's going to see you ping on the radar and come to your location. Don't stay in the same zone. And I'm not saying camp. I'm just saying if you've been wandering around that map for ages, bring the enemy towards you. The third one is use your audio. When you're in the party and you're playing ground war, you may drop your audio and turn up your game chat to hear your friends. Now, ground war is very loud. There's a lot going in it from explosions, vehicles, you know, everything from the kill streaks. In gun game, there's less of that. Okay, there is explosions from uh, the rocket launchers and a bit of gunfire sprattled around the map. However, it's nothing like gun. Uh, it's not. It's nothing like other game modes because there's no kill streaks. So, turn up your audio, guys, for the game, uh, so you can hear the footsteps. Once again, I'm not saying camp, I'm just saying if you're in a room and you can hear someone run around too, you're going to have just as much advantage of them, if they're in a game and they haven't turned up their audio, obviously. Uh, okay, laser beam for night modes. It's only going to work in light modes, obviously, because you don't have lasers during uh, daytime gameplay. Um, so, this goes... Kind of without saying, if you're aiming down through a window or a doorway or a hall or whatever it may be, the enemy's going to see your laser beam and, you know, they're going to have a bit of advantage on you because they know that there's someone down there. You may not know he's down there. Anyway, aim slightly to the frame of the door or the window or the wall of the hall, whatever it may be, so he can't see that. But you can quickly um, snap onto him if he comes around that corner. The other way to benefit from the laser beam is vice versa. Now, obviously, if you see a laser beam, you know there's someone there. However, how do you know which side he's on? And that's to watch the wobble of the laser beam. So if he's on the left side of a wall and you see the laser beam coming out towards the right into another passage, whatever it may be, and the wobble is very visible on the right-hand side, then you know the enemy's to the left where the um, wobble isn't as bad. So if you just think if you had a laser beam and you're moving up and down, the, the beam that's coming out of you, the laser is obviously not moving as of, as much as the opposite side. So use that to your advantage, guys. A lot of people don't realize that or don't even think about it. So if you're smart enough, implement that one into your gameplay and you'll rack up some serious kills along with just that. Um, the PILA uh, rocket launcher, I believe it's called, that's a terror, uh, terrible, terrible thing. I've got so many um, hit markers. Just hit marker, hit marker, hit marker. It just felt like hit marker city, to be honest with you. The I thing I've come to deal with it now is aim directly at the person or aim at their feet. Um, I guess this is because it's meant to be against vehicles and not so much against other people. But keep that in your mind. Like, even if you hit a you know, four foot away from them, you're not going to kill them. You're just going to get a hit marker and somebody's just going to finish them. Because that bad boy takes far too long to load. So aim at him or aim exactly where he's going. Because that's the only way to do it. Uh, like seven out of ten times. I've been lucky sometimes. But generally that's the only way it goes for me. Um, unless it's RPG in which case you sort of just aim it towards the feet, four feet, five feet away and you still hit them. Um, uh, another tip. Don't stay in the same position. Do not camp in this game mode. It's not going to work for you. 
because you're only going to get six kills, maybe one death. And if that's what you're going for with KD, don't be playing this game mode. It's just it's not what it's used for. Um, you need to be moving about consistently. Maybe in the same area. Maybe you don't have to run the whole distance of the map. But Johnny, don't stay in one one place because that's one. The enemy's going to know where you are. Two, if you're camping in one spot, people are just going to avoid that. And most campers are on the outside of the map. Um, don't be that guy going in to take out a camper because if he's if he's got you three times, he's going to get you full time. Just leave him alone. Let him wait, rot away over there. He isn't going to finish the game. He will. Maybe get higher. Maybe top three. You need to be top three to win it, obviously. Um, another major thing a lot of people overlook, and I do it myself. One, because you don't have a lot of time. Or two, you've seen somebody and you're trying to get that next kill. But lock down the right hand side and check what fire type is on your weapon. So if it's one bullet, you know it's a single shot. If there's three rounds, you know that's a, a burst weapon. And if it's all all bullets are colored in, you know that uh, that's a fully automatic weapon. Like, so sometimes I popped out a file and I thought it was a burst and turned out to be a single fire. So double check that guys if you have time to do so uh, another one practice your knives okay it's not a, a major one but if you go and play a, a private game with bots or friends and just do knives um you'll be a lot better for it in the long one because if someone's one right to left and you aim right at them and they're a good distance away, you will miss and he might turn around and have a knife and just and you're gone right so game's over and he's won so learn that Learn to lead a wee bit, depend on distance and variations of of if how fast if he's on a sprint, if he's walking, if he's aiming at someone else, there's a lot going on. So just just get used to that guys. Um I do recommend if you've got friends to play a a, a knife game. Um number one guys, headshots are everything. Um so always try to go for headshots. I know in this game it's not gonna be excellent. It's sometimes lag the save, depending on what game you're playing and where the server is based. But uh, if you can't get those headshots, get the headshots. Uh, that goes without saying. That's an easy one. Another thing, when you've got a pistol and the game's a good couple, you know, you, maybe you've died three or four times in a row, so you're stuck in a pistol and everyone else has an AR or shotgun or something else. How about try and steal a kill? If you've got two guys in front of you, uh, target one is shooting at target two, how about try and aim at target two instead of one? You may get that kill. You might steal it. This guy, target one, may not even know you're there. So if you do, don't get the kill. Maybe he's got some damage to him and you can kill him afterwards. Um, but if he's got a weapon, you know, and kind of has an idea you're there, he's going to win that fight. Um, watch those corners for those cheeky campers. There are a few of them. I'm not going to lie and say there's no campers in this game. There's not many, but there are some. And as I say, a lot of them like to stay on the outside. If you've got a sniper rifle, okay, fair enough, you want to do my kill. That's fine. Just keep in mind, guys, that you need to move in this game a lot. I know I know everyone is in perfect sniping, and gun game is a good way to learn all those weapons and become better overall. It's probably the best way to go, actually, if you want to learn all the weapons, is gun game. Um, a thing I like to do, and not a lot of other people do it, is um, if you're moving in one direction, you get a kill, go in the opposite direction. Because where you've responded is now came available. So someone is going to go into that spot. And, you know, five out of ten times, it's going to be the same guy. And he's going to be coming after your blood because you just killed him. He's not going to expect you as close as you are. He's going to think you'll keep one in one direction. You get a nice weak kill again. It's the same guy. He's going to be pissed. Um... That's about it, I think, guys. Probably about 15 tips there. I've ho I hope you enjoy this video and you can use them to your advantage. If you want, please subscribe, thumbs up, and a comment. Good luck, guys. DS out.